Hey YouTube, this is tutorial part 6 of my UDK series and in this video we're going to be covering uh, lighting. I think we might be able to get to both interior and exterior lighting. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do exterior lighting. And so let me get over here and show you how I find it easiest to uh, do lighting. So I usually get pretty close to where you can see the uh, general light source on the uh, sky uh, sky dome. What I'm going to do is add a Or add actor, add light, dominant direction light. I'm going to then do, is first of all, get that a little bit up off the ground. Uh, whoopsie. Where's it going? Okay, that's good enough. So, at this point, switch back to rotate. I'm going to double click this and then go into light component. Go down to light shafts and create light and allow yourself to use light shafts. Not only is it a really cool effect, but it also is helpful for uh, finding the light source. If you don't like light shafts, then go ahead and turn it off once you find where it needs to go. This is mainly just to align shadows or align your light and so you get proper shadows that match up with the skybox. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate this as I already know the general direction. Let's see, where is that? Oh, that's why. Make sure you're also in lit mode. Then you can see the light shafts. There we go. Now, now you guys can see what I mean. You can see where the the where the sun would actually be in lighting the scene. Let me just find the right spot. I'm thinking right about there. And now you kind of have a general look to your scene that is lit. Um, but what you need to do next is you need to go down here to this little button and click that button. You need to use light mass, um, preferably if you have any uh, desire to really make your map look good. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build that, but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video just for a moment and come back once the build is done because it can take a little bit of time. Uh, so I will be back in just one moment. Alright, so now you have your lighting and it's looking pretty good. And m make sure you guys always, always do the exterior lighting first. That way you can see what the interior lighting looks like when you're finished with that. And that's what we're going to do next. When you do that, so go to your content browser, actor classes, lights, spotlights. And you just want a spotlight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a spotlight right over here. And for the reason this, or for the fact that this is a tutorial, I'm just going to really call this good. We'll go into more depth if this wasn't a tutorial, uh, just to make sure all the lighting looks correct. Everything. What happened there? Uh, oh, I was thinking 45 degrees. Okay. 
Got a spotlight there. Now, make sure it's a good spot. Yep, and it is. Let's uh, go ahead and duplicate that. And bring it down. Over. That's looking pretty good. And basically, that's what you do with the rest of the lighting, and then you build it and your lighting is essentially finished not completely finished there's uh, some stuff with particle effects that you can have some ambient light but that's all you do for lighting your scene so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off finish up my lighting and I'm gonna come back with the next tutorial which is particle effects and sound and that's gonna be a fun one so guys please comment rate subscribe and uh, I hope to see you shortly